Holes. I've been going to the Campo Skate Park for about six years now, and it's made a really positive impact on my life. I started skateboarding when I was in second grade, and without getting into too much detail, that was a pretty hard time in my life. I had been diagnosed with OCD. But skateboarding was really my escape from that, and the people at Compo really took me in, even though I was a young kid. They, I guess, saw potential in me, and I've felt at home there ever since. If I die before I wake, at least in heaven I can skate. Cause right now on earth I can't do jack. Ocean blue, what have I done to you? Cut so deep, yet growing through and through. Oh, I was asking you questions. Yeah! That is really buffering me. What's your name? Alex Walton. Uh, how long have you been going to the Campo Beach Skate Park? I've been going now for about five years. And how has it impacted your life? Um, I was in fourth grade when I met James, and I invited him over and we went to go see a movie, and that's how we really became friends. And ever since, he really got me into skateboarding, and I never skated before. And one of the first days of me skateboarding, I went to Compo, and it was just a great feeling for me because all the kids and the guys were so supportive to me, 
and I went through a lot of bad times during my life in the past couple of years, and my pal my family's been through a lot of problems. And my parents have always gotten divorced a lot of times, and so skateboarding's been really an escape for me to go somewhere to hang out with my friends, and they've really been a good impact. And do you think that you're better off having been to Campo? Yeah, I think if I didn't go to Campo, I probably would have gotten really depressed because I was really sad back then. And comp going to Campo, they made me feel so good, so happy. So I think that was like a place where I could go. And if I didn't go there, I'd probably be like really depressed and sad right now. And what would you think would happen if Campo were taken away? For not just you, but for kids of future generations. Well, we're going off to college soon, so it might not impact us as much. But for other kids, like, there's going to be other kids that go through t tough times during these years and the upcoming years. And they're going to need a place to go. And I think they really need Compo as a place, as a safe place for them to go, because it's the only safe place around here that's really, like, supervised in Connecticut. And it, we need that. We need those kind of places for people to go so they don't, like, get hurt or get in trouble, have places, things like that happen to them. See the bug, see the mouse. 